Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome everyone. Today we will like to discuss migratory insertion and migratory elimination reaction. So, it is called MI and ME right. We have two different types of MI alpha migratory insertion and beta migratory insertion these are most common. Migratory elimination once again also of two different type alpha migratory insertion and alpha migratory elimination with some example we will discuss the basics of it and we will we'll be focusing mainly on alpha and beta version of MI and ME right. Let us get started. Once again we will have a metal complex these are going to be the metal complex of organometallic type. We have metal where A and Z are involved. Now, if we are talking about alpha migratory insertion, it is the forward reaction where M A and this Z bond formation M A G bond formation is happening. Now, this Z is the migrating group. So, you have seen Z is migrating to A. Usually this Z R something like H R hydride R alkyl alkoxide NR2 etcetera. Now let us take one example then it will be clearer. A, if you have a metal carbonyl species with R group. Let us say R is alkyl group. You are familiar with the MCOR bond formation. So, technically speaking R is getting migrating on the carbon. So, this is the alpha position, this is the beta position. Since R is migrating selectively at the alpha position, in this case it will be called alpha migratory insertion. Now, of course, there is a beta migratory insertion when you will see that R group is migrating at the beta position. Of course, one can argue whether it is you know insertion into the MR or the migration of R. So, R can migrate or CO can go and insert. So, we will discuss specifically with an example what is the usual way of doing things in this case. Once again, it will be the migration of R not the insertion of CO, but with a very elegant example done by his researcher, we will discuss why it is a migration not insertion. So, migration of R is happening not CO getting inserted. Okay. Of course, both migration and insertion will give you the same product. So, once again this is the alpha carbon or alpha position beta position alpha is directly coordinated with the metal and the R group is migrating on the alpha position not on the beta position. So, you get this species sorry this should be M okay. you get this species where a M C O R species is formed. Now, let us look at the beta migratory insertion. Beta migratory insertion as you can imagine at the beta position of the coordinating coordinated species the R group will be migrating. Okay. It is perhaps the more common version of this migratory insertion and elimination. So, we are trying to discuss or see one generic formula of beta migratory insertion, insertion and beta elimination. Now, we, we have a species a once again a metal species metal Z and we have 
A, B, let us say an olefin, beta migratory insertion would be something where M, A, B and Z, this species is formed. Once again you can see this is the alpha position, this is the beta position, selectively at the beta position this Z is migrating. The reverse of it, the reverse of this process will be beta elimination. So, it is, it is very crucial that you understand the, you know, the type of, type of thing you, you will be getting in these cases, where, uh, where the examples may vary from alpha to beta and uh, you, you should be very careful about judging whether it is alpha migratory insertion or beta migratory insertion. Let us take one of the simple example for, for these cases. So, if it is a R metal olefinic species by beta migratory insertion you get something like what we were calling like that. Okay. So, the most important factor for these cases is that these two groups R and this species should be cis to each other, should be cis to each other okay, and thereby that is the prerequisite for migratory insertion reaction. Now, the alpha migratory insertion we will be discussing now with, uh, with few more examples. These examples you know are very well known examples. You are definitely aware of it, but may not have realized that it is in fact the alpha migratory insertion. Some of the industrial scale synthesis are done by utilizing this migratory insertion, let us say alpha migratory inser insertion and the product formation for these cases could be you know tons of millions of tons, right. It is a lot of product formation that goes on by migratory insertion. I think in a minute we will we'll show you the example, then you will realize that yes indeed you are familiar with it. Let us look at some more examples of alpha migratory insertion. So, we are discussing alpha migratory insertion most common of course, most common of these processes are when your A equal carbon monoxide right. And usually you know you have a lot of industrial application with such species. One of the most famous reaction in this case is the hydroformylation reaction. I am sure you have heard of it, you have studied about it before. What is the hydroformylation reaction? You have a olefin and a CO and hydrogen. So, carbon monoxide and hydrogen together usually it you form a linear aldehyde in these cases where you have two hydrogen one CO into the olefin. Now, for, for these cases we, we know that it is a very very well known industrial process you know 100 millions of tons are getting prepared of these aldehydes are prepared by this process and we have rhodium or cobalt catalyst for these sort of uh, transformation nowadays used industrially. Now, of course, you know by looking at this reaction you may not be appreciate the fact that there is a alpha migratory insertion involved, but if you look at the mechanism of this reaction very briefly. I think it will be clear, although I will not discuss the mechanism in stepwise fashion in a you know in a very elaborate form, I will just take you to the key step where alpha migratory insertion is happening. Let us try to write down the reaction. So, you have let us say rhodium species, it is it could be rhodium and cobalt usually rhodium or cobalt catalyst. So, you have rhodium species, it is a dihydride species let us say you have again I am not discussing the mechanism in detail. So, you have this intermediate where you have carbon monoxide, olefin and hydrides are attached with the rhodium. Then what you will see the next step is usually a rhodium 
intermediate where you see the olefin is inserted into the alpha position of carbon monoxide. So, this is the step where the alpha position of carbon monoxide alpha and this olefin is getting inserted. So, alpha migratory insertion is happening and then you can appreciate a reductive elimination between H and this carbon center and a reductive elimination between H and this carbon center you can see the product formation right. Of course, this is a very rudimentary way of showing this mechanism, but most important step is here you see the alpha migratory insertion at the carbon center. So, at this carbon center migratory insertion is happening and as you all know this is a very, very facile process and this is utilized by the industry uh, worldwide to produce the aldehyde from some very simple starting material such as olefin you know um, propene in this case or other olefin propene and carbon monoxide and hydrogen can give you this aldehyde in presence of a rhodium or cobalt catalyst and producing selectively the linear product aldehyde product most often you get the linear product of course, there is uh, there is a chance of forming the branch product where aldehyde will not be at the terminal position, but at the branch position anyway we might will discuss later that one, but hydroformylation reaction is a really great example for alpha migratory insertion. Another reaction would like to discuss which is once so utilized you know widely in the industry that is Monsanto acetic acid process. Let us try to look at the Monsanto acetic acid process. I am sure again all of you are familiar with it, but may not be realizing that a alpha migratory insertion is involved in it. So, Monsanto acetic acid process. What is it? As you all know, methanol, simple methanol and carbon monoxide usually with rhodium catalyst traditionally or historically with rhodium catalyst, but nowadays it is replaced with iridium catalyst. So, nowadays industry use iridium catalyst, but if you look at the history of the development for the Monsanto acetic acid process, it is the rhodium catalyst that has been utilized. Essentially, you get the it is a acetic acid formation right. So, methanol and carbon monoxide give you acetic acid that reaction looks really funny right. Well, I mean of course, it is not going to be insertion of CO or you know methyl uh, methyl from methanol directly into the forming there. What you need here is you, you need a iodide okay, uh, source. So, what you need in addition is HI. Therefore, the mechanism is little bit you know interesting at one glance it may be CO just getting inserted here no that is not or you know uh, but it is not really the case first first of all methanol will be converted in presence of HI to give you methyl iodide plus water right. Now, this methyl iodide will undergo oxidative addition into let us say rhodium you have methyl and iodide I am not drawing the ligand on on rhodium what then you have of course, CO coordination methyl iodide this is almost uh, uh, this is a oxidative addition and coordination of CO you get methyl and CO cease to each other from where you will get Me CO alpha migratory insertion. So, at the alpha position methyl is getting inserted here to give you rhodium this intermediate from this intermediate from this intermediate you will get you will get M E C O I okay. and then hydrolysis of this intermediate will give you the acid. It is a very simple reaction, but elegant example of alpha migratory insertion. What you have seen in this example is methanol is converted into methyl iodide in presence of 
HI and that methyl iodide undergoing oxidative addition as well as the CO coordination with the metal center occurs. The methyl migrates at the alpha position of the carbon monoxide to give you Me CO metal intermediate, then a reductive elimination from that intermediate where you have the rhodium iodo and this acyl species they will be cis to each other and thereby you will be able to have a reductive elimination to form CH3COI which will then undergo hydrolysis to give you the acetic acid. So, Monsanto acetic acid process as you know it is a very very you know well known process it is used industrially and it utilizes the alpha migratory insertion beautifully to produce the acetic acid. We will discuss few more example of alpha migratory insertion because this is again this is few process that happens quite, uh, quite often. Let us let me look at a uh, few more examples. Now, if you are looking at an iron complex such as this, you have dicarbonyl or sorry monocarbonyl intermediate. If you count the electron, it will be 18 electron species, right. Now, you want to do a reaction in presence of CO with this iron complex. The first step you would expect it is a 18 electron species it is not going to interact with the CO to give you you know the dicarbonyl species, but what will happen is this methyl and this CO. So, alpha migratory insertion will go on. Okay. So, from there you have now 18 electron to 16 electron species right. Now, alpha migratory insertion has happened. So, you have from a tetra coordinate iron you have now tri coordinated iron this is a 16 electron species. Since this reaction under CO now CO can interact with iron to give you iron CO this intermediate again it is back to 18 electron. Now, this is your final product in this case. So, what you have seen in this case is a iron complex organometallic intermediate having 18 electron and you are reacting this with a carbon with carbon monoxide. Nothing happens at the first place with the carbon monoxide from outside, but methyl will migrate at the metal center to the carbon monoxide at the alpha position to give you that acyl intermediate. So, 18 electron species will undergo a 16 electron species formation and from there the CO can interact to give you now a another addition of carbonyl to give you the final complex. So, 18 electron species goes to 16 electron comes back to 18 electron in between beautiful alpha migratory insertion reaction occurs. Let us look at yet another example which will be again very interesting one. It is a zirconium one we would like to discuss. So, we, we have a zirconium complex it is very interesting usually CP2 zirconium. What is the oxidation state of zirconium in this case? Quickly if you look at oxidation state will be 4 plus right. 4 plus oxidation state if you do the electron count for this species it is going to be 16 electron. Once again what you want to do you want to deal with your favorite ligand CO for this alpha migratory insertion. Okay. What will happen? Simply you will get an 18 electron species this is a 16 electron species you will get a 18 electron species where carbon monoxide is getting attached with the zirconium right. 
So, 16 electron species goes to 18 electron species very well and then from this 18 electron species as you perhaps sensed by now there is a CO, there is a ME now migratory insertion will occur to give you CP2. So, this is the one alpha migratory insertion CP2 ZR CO ME and chloro. Of course, if since this was a 18 electron now you have a 16 electron species right you should be able to do, do this electron count literally very very easily 16 electron CO addition 18 electron and migratory insertion 16 electron right. Now, one, one thing to notice here is why this 18 electron species right the first intermediate will undergo the migratory insertion it is a 18 electron species. In this case 18 electron species is specifically undergoing migratory insertion because you do not have a d electron it is a d 0 species the zirconium intermediate was d 0 1 and it is extremely difficult for d 0 species to stabilize a, a, a ligand such as carbon monoxide where, where a pi back bonding is usually preferred, but there is no d electron therefore, pi back bonding will not be possible and therefore, the migratory insertion alpha migratory insertion in this case becomes very facile. So, starting with a 16 electron species you go to an 18 electron species, but this 18 electron species in this particular case are not is not going to be stable because it is a d 0 electronic configuration. Since back bonding is missing you will not be able to have its stabilization. So, the methyl will migrate onto CO to give you the CO ME intermediate. Of course, this is a 16 electron species what you see in here that is a finally, this lone pair from this will be donated here to give you uh, the zirconium CP2 species. Now, this will be 18 electron species such D 0 metal you know it is very difficult to stabilize CO complex, CO complex is going to be unstable as, as we try to discuss due to absence of back bonding and actually there is almost no example of D 0, D 0 CO complex, D 0 metal center with carbon monoxide bound with it specifically crystallographically characterization is extremely difficult because you do not have much stabilization. Okay. Even with or without methyl um, if you have a species which is D 0 and carbon monoxide bound to it uh, I think it is it is extremely difficult to stabilize it and getting a crystal structure out of it will be kind of next to impossible. Uh, well of course, it is a very good research problem if uh, one can figure out how to stabilize a D 0 metal species with carbon monoxide bound with it. Okay. So, we will uh, conclude today's session here. We have seen migratory insertion and migratory elimination. We have briefly discussed alpha migratory insertion with some example. We have discussed insertion and elimination being the you know reversible process. We have also seen alpha and beta, but we will have more and more example of these even alpha migratory insertion we will see some more interesting example in the next class. Okay. Till then you guys keep on uh, reading on this and we will continue discussing this uh, migratory insertion and migratory elimination. Swayam Prabha, Digital India, Educated India.